It's another Kush House experience hosted by the Roll Up Network. I'm here with my homie CJ. And we got the the man, the myth, the legend himself, Jack Rabbit. My guy, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm vibing, dog. Welcome to the Kush House, man. We've been trying to make this happen for a little minute now. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. you for pulling up. Ain't no problem, man. When I'm free, I got it. You got coming. it? Yeah, I'm coming. I see, man. You've been, you been traveling the world. I seen you in Dubai. Whole lot of fly jewelry, music videos. Hmm? Just living. Living a little bit? Yeah. That's I what's feel. up, man. Appreciate you for hanging Just out. Just living, bro. baby. What you think about the place, man? You see, oh, we got you see we got the rabbits in the mural over there. Nah, I ain't. Oh, you, he, he hiding a little bit, but you see the rabbits in the cane fire over there. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, we hanging out a little bit. Nah, we it's had to dope, bring some it's up dope, here. though. I told my homeboy this a whole vibe right here. Already, you feel man. Me? Like already. Yeah, I can vibe over here. You yes, feel sir. Me? When I'm in the city. Whatever. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you for coming to hang out. So we're gonna, um, we gonna start it off, man, you know, before we get into all the, the pro, you know, the the music, the vacationing, and the big jewelry. Yeah. All this started in, you know, the muck. I'm from Belgale. You from Pahokee, man. Um, this this rabbit thing I have on my mural, uh, chasing rabbits. It's a culture down there, football. Um, How did you fall in love with football? How did it all start? Bro, my daddy and my brother, they just put me on the football field at age, what, seven? Right. And, you know, you start off, you know, not knowing. And I just fell in love with it when I got probably into like, when I got like 12 years old. Right. <clears throat> I just feel like, you know, football was going to get me out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because where I came from, we only produce football players. So I, by like 10, 12. So who, who was your guy watching? Your era, you had to be watching who? Uh, Anquan? Yeah, I was watching Anquan, for sure. Shout out Anquan. Anquan so Bodie from the crib. guys come from the muck, though, man. Right. Yeah, we do. We got a lot of guys. Um, but my, my who I grew up watching, for real, was Reggie Bush. Mm. Like, anybody that I played with in high school could tell you that. I thought I was Reggie Bush. You played running back in high school. I played running back, yeah. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Um, when did you realize, like, and, and Pahokee's a little different because your middle school and your high school we're together. Yeah. Um, at what age did you start playing varsity football? I was in the eighth grade. I played varsity in the eighth grade. I started out on JV. Right. I balled out. Um, then they moved me up, you know, moved me up to uh, varsity at the end of the year. I ain't played that year, but I was still on the team. Getting experience and practices. Getting experience, you feel me? But I know I should have played that year. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, that next year, though. That ninth grade, yeah. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Man, I took off, man. That's what's like, up, man. And like, I ain't play college. I ain't play corner till I got in college. That's a fact. That's a fact. They recruited you. Were recruited highly as some people recruited you at running back. Athlete. Ath more, more so athlete. athlete. Urban Meyer yeah. recruited you an athlete as well. Yeah. Um. In your recruitment, what was that like? Did every go ahead, CJ. I hear the stories all the time, man. Y'all boys from down that area, right? So. Right. Uh, Y'all got to tell me about the, the Jack Rabbits and, you know, what it means culturally and just, you know, how you got into it and the stories about, you know, being down for the muck. You know, I see the commercials and stuff like that, but just what commercial you see? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What commercial you seen? It was an ESPN commercial something at one that, point. That oh. No, 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 no. That was no, no. Uh, That wasn't nothing to do with them. That was the muck. But the people who did it, they wasn't from oh, the no, muck. Oh, no, no, definitely. You know, so we can't pass that like that. Like, okay. Well, it ain't going to go down Give, like give me the real about it then. What, the muck? Chasing rabbit? Yeah. It's just a culture, bro. Like, you grow up, all you know is football, basketball, baseball, chasing rabbits. And it's like, in high school, you feel me? Like, we used to catch rabbits. But we trying to get a position on the field, you feel me? Like, we trying sure. to play running back and receiver. The coach don't know nobody. We just out here trying to, you know, have fun. And we picked it up, bro. Probably when we were like 13, 14. You feel me? Selling rabbits for two dollars, three dollars. Mm -hmm. It was just part of our coach. Now your biggest high school rival at, at that time is always Bell Glade, uh, Glade Central. Uh, yeah. And you and Trav had uh, like a legendary like just matchup every time y'all boys linked up. Travis Benjamin, who played at University of Miami. Yeah. Um, Trav. Yeah, and every time you y'all boys linked up on the field it was always magic, man. Um, what's y'all relationship like right now? And what was that battle like back then? Oh, we cool, man. We hang out every now and then. When I see him, I'm a high level. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, much respect to him. That battle was crazy, though. Like, I played running back and cornerback. Only in right. Muck Bowl, though. Right. 
So they knew what time it was, man. They had some dogs on the other side. You feel me? It was like that's crazy that you didn't play corner, but you played it for Mark Bow versus Travis. But when you played, like you cut on the film for that game. Yeah, like you was on point. You know, like feet footwork. Is it just being a good athlete? My friends say I'm just I'm just athletic, bro. Like I was blessed. Right. You feel me? Like thank you, God. So why you didn't play uh, defensive back more in high school? If everybody was recruiting you at defensive back in high school, <sighs> trying to reserve you a little bit. You gotta have my coach. <laughs> I actually played linebacker, bro. Linebacker on defense, linebacker and safety. Yeah, they should have drug tested him. Nah, I went big though. I went big. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, exactly. But I, I just, you know, I just always want to be that guy. Right. How was the plan against Trail though? It was good. It was nice. I mean, it was cool. It was tough though. No lie, I ain't no cap. He caught some crazy on you in that game. Yeah, for sure. You got you, you you did your thing though. You scored a touchdown in that game. Uh, you guys you know, won everybody that gonna game, have but... that day, baby. You right, see? right, so, right. At the What's... end of the day, it's who win. What was your record versus uh, Glace Central in the Muck Bowl? I think I was undefeated, if I'm not mistaken. Undefeated? I probably lost in my eighth grade year, but I ain't played. Right. I was on the bench, but I. Went to That's some shit like. to brag about right there, though. Man. That's a flex. What that? Going four and zero in the muck bowl. Oh yeah, I think I went four and zero. I think I went three and zero. Cause one year we didn't have it because of the hurricane. Right. Um, I don't know what hurricane that was. But nah, that's a flex. You humble about it, but man, that's a big time flex. See, speak about the culture of uh, the muck bowl, man. When was the last time you been back to the crib? For muck bowl, bro, I ain't been back for muck bowl since I left high school. Man, um, it's just part of the job, you know, football. Like, right. Muck Bowl around what, November? Oh, yeah, it's during football season. Yeah, so that makes like, sense. We yeah, football. yeah, yeah. So I don't really have time for it. But what was it like playing in that playing game? That game. Was that, what, what would you think is bigger? You won a state championship in high school, right? Yeah. What's the bigger game, Muck Bowl or the state championship? To me, it was Muck Bowl. Right. Because that's the rivalry, you know. We're going to see these people every year. <laughs> every year is going down, and then you got to walk around the city and the town. So I, think, I say it was Muck Bowl. Man, how hard it is to get a ticket to that game, man? Bro, it ain't hard. No. Nah. nah, man. Man, how the story is, man. To you. Don't let them man, lie to you. Man, it ain't hard, bro. It ain't you better who, know it ain't the right people. Know who you know. Yeah. Man. yeah, you better know the right, right people, That's what man. I'm saying, man. You that's, know him. That's yeah. the ticket. You good. You good. <laughs> you good. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> you ain't up. Well, that's the ticket, though, they say, but I don't, man. I don't you can't know. pull up and get it at the get at the ticket office. Oh, no, that's dead. You can't get it at the gate. And I don't know if it's the same from when we was coming up. Like mm-hmm. far as no, the vibe, wise, it, ain't, it ain't the same. Yeah, because y'all had some dogs on both sides. And it was, that shit, like I say, that's bragging rights for the whole year. But even like I like to be, I'm from yeah. Berkeley, right? Yeah. And uh, as a kid, you know, I like Muck Bowl in Berkeley because it's a crib. Right. But now when I go back to Bunk Bowls, I like to go to Pokey just because of the scene. Like um, the Logan Ramp is a little different than than Pokey scene and how Pokey set up right on that lake. Right. It's just a little different. Even when y'all stadium is set up off campus, I like the uh, scene like post game Pokey. I don't know, you haven't been out there. I ain't been uh, out there. Hung out, you hung out in some Muck Bowls after the game. In you high know? school, in when high I was school. in high school, so yeah, you know yeah, the vibes, I, yeah. overtime. You For know sure, but. I just used to go uptown, you feel me? Holler at my little right. homies, you feel me, that I know. Give me a couple of dollars. Me and my dog, we finna go. What you mean, get you a couple of dollars? Give me a couple of dollars, man, you know. From, well, from I mean, the hood. I mean, a couple of touchdowns, you get this, couple of t- Couple of touchdowns, I get, you know, a couple of hundred. Collect. Huh? You gotta go collect? Yeah, it was just like them boys showing love, like. Right. Yeah, they probably better big money on uh big money on Pahoke anyway to win the game, right? Hey, I don't know what they did. They let me get me me. You can, right. you can send mine through the wire now. Right. <laughs> you feel well, what was even that? The culture of of like the, the, the neighborhood guys taking care of the ball players, because that's a thing in the glaze or in most urban okay. neighborhoods. For sure. Um what's that like when like cause you gotta go to college and and, and the benefits uh in the recruiting? Um, did, 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 did those guys reach out to you for as far as any NIL in the recruiting department? I know Urban Meyer came out there, so, huh? You got some NIL deals before there was an NIL? <laughs> nah, I ain't getting no NIL deals. But when I, you know, when I came back after my junior year, I got broke off. I ain't gonna lie, um, for Florida, uh, much champ. But it did, you know, back then we'll get in trouble. Nah, right. ain't man. People don't care. Hold on. All right, we'll, we'll fast forward to that. We'll, we'll fast forward to that. You say that was your junior year, you said, with my champ? Yo, uh, at the Herb left. Remember Herb left? Right. And, you know, came in. For you to come back. For me to come back. Because I was in the ride. Mm-hmm. Right. But then again, my dad was like, don't go yet, because I had had surgery on my sh- shoulder and shit. So right. I was like, fuck it. 
I'm finna get some out of this motherfucker. You what, feel what, me? Like, what it look like? It was nice. <laughs> How nice? Six? I would scrape my senior year if I would have still been there. Right. I ain't well, have to come out in no pocket with nothing. Yeah. No grocery, mm-hmm. no rent, no nothing. I would scrape. Yeah. So after they give you that bag to come back, right? Uh, you put some cushion in the air. Yeah. And then they kick you out of school. Right. That's a nice parting gift. Yeah, it is, man. But at the end of the day, bro, like, shit. You gonna kick me out for smoking weed? I ain't mad at you because you right. got to do it. You feel me? Like, if I see him right now today, I'm going to still speak to him, holler at him. You feel me? Like, I deal with the one that got caught. You feel me? Right. Like, everybody in the world smoke. Now everybody can smoke. Like, even college players can smoke now. NCAA passed the word. That's what I'm saying. Back college then, it was different. Smoke. Right. You feel me? So... I look at it that bitch. I'm finna go to motherfucking somewhere. I ain't going to the crib. Right. And I'm just gonna still do what I do, but at the end of the day, don't get caught. All right, let's go back to like before before all the like the transferring. You won a national championship at University of Florida, man. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, I don't know if everybody in this building recognize who he is, but um probably the, the the best corner ever play at 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 the place some people call DBU, right? Um yeah. Pick six, I'm a, yeah. pick six man himself, right? Yeah, Mr. true pick freshman six. out the gate, pulled up from Pahokee. Yo, give me a starting position. A lot of people don't get the word of number one jersey at the University of Florida. But huh? Nah, they everybody don't understand that, right? You feel me? You so got, you, you was against it too, then, man, huh? Of course, man. Urban Meyer had that thing side one way. My best player on my team get number one. Only one person getting it. So they gonna be offense. Then they gonna they wore defense, it down a little bit. Go offense. When Mudchamp got there, everybody just had one. Mm. Trickle down effect. Can I, um, even with, I don't know who, I don't know if, um, if uh, Billy did it yet, if he gave us one number one, but I know people's complaining, you know, with Mullen, with his recent number one, giving the number one jersey to a couple people. Yeah, he missed it. I think he hit on Kadarius. He got lucky. Kadarius uh, balled out his uh, senior year. Yeah, he and got did. and got drafted first round, so he hit on that one. I thought also he hit on Chris Henderson, uh, but he didn't. He missed on a couple too. But um, your freshman year, you pulled up and started as a true freshman. It's not the easiest thing to do at University of Florida. What was practice like? What was the uh, the shift? The biggest difference, the jump. Just conditioning for me, bro. Like I knew I had the skill. You feel right. me? Like, but when I'm from, we ain't used to do all this. I ain't no lifting weights and. We gonna run, we gonna touch the gate 10 times. But right. when you gotta touch a whole stadium, mm-hmm. man, I ain't, I ain't never do this. But right. that was the toughest thing for me in college when I first got there, just being in shape, conditioning, and running. I hate running, I hate lifting weights, bro. So the physicality in the SEC ain't affect you at all? No, nah, it ain't affect me, because you know, as I went got to going, my body started forming. Right. Now nah, I ain't scared of nothing, so we can run it, baby. You feel me? And that's one of the biggest struggles with freshmen, you know, going when they come in is the weight room. So how did you adjust to it and and I guess get acclimated to it and say, okay, you know, these some big kids, these some big guys well, you know, playing the SEC, I gotta, you know, work hard and, and get and get going in the weight room. What I guess what triggered for you to like, okay, let's get in, let's start working in the weight room. Bro, I had I used to call my daddy, my mama, my high school coach, like, why they killing my ass? Right. Like, you feel me? Like I first got there, they had lost to Michigan in the um in the bowl game. Outback bowl one. Oh, we have bad luck, bro. Man, Michigan had 315 yard. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I remember they be like yesterday, 315 yard on them. Mm-hmm. My first day on campus, bitch, I touched every stadium you meant now. I did 315 push-ups and I did 315. You was early down. and rolling on. I cause I went in January. Mm-hmm. Man, right. I was mad like a motherfucker. I got I ain't get halfway. I got by. Shit, I went around like not even halfway. A little minute though, I get up, bitch. I'm running. I done sat down, bitch. You know, you tired, right. sweating, everything. I'm slobbing. <sighs> bitch, I feel like I'm about to die. <laughs> Boom, them boys started running past my ass. <laughs> <laughs> For real though, that bitch right. Joe Hayden came to me like, little bro, come on, let go. Then I just went to thinking, because my coach in high school used to always be like, when y'all go to them people's school, them people ain't gonna give a fuck about y'all. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel me? But I ain't, you know, us as a jit, we looking at it like, yeah, whatever. Right. Man, I started thinking about that. 
Joe picked me up. I took off. Boom. I finished that bit, though. What's uh, Joe Hayden like? What, what was y'all relationship, y'all? Y'all had a dynamic duo, duo in that secondary. What was y'all relationship like? And, and fashion-wise, who dressed better as well? He's a, he's a fashionista himself. Man, Joe cool as hell, bro. Like, For sure. That was my brother. You right. feel me? Like, we used to hang out all the time. See, that's, I feel like back then we used to bond more as a team. You feel me? Not saying they don't bond, but, but we would hit the club together, the mall that's together. That's some good bonding, bro. Like, we doing yeah, everything, yeah. you know? Home, sure. off the time, we playing the game with each other, you feel me? Yeah. And, like, shit. I put that shit on, though. I, don't, I ain't gonna talk about nobody else. I don't else. know, I don't I don't, know I don't, how the world is. Pause and all that, but hey, me getting flying. I'll be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he getting fly. fly I salute. Yeah, he yeah, getting fly. But shoot, shoot, but shoot, 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 game shoot ridiculous, bro. Yeah, but I, I don't know what he do. <laughs> I dress me. I ain't got no stylist. Nobody gonna go shopping for me. Oh, okay. None okay. of that. I dress okay. me. You feel me? Oh, I can't okay. talk about what he do. He be fresh. I like it. Yeah, you I like it all though. day. You got a ghost <laughs> rider. But that ain't another day. I know me. You got a ghost rider. When I'ma step out, I'ma step out with him. What I put on, what I picked out, what you I found out. Joe ain't got a ghost rider, man. Right. I don't know. I ain't saying all that, baby. Mm. I'm just saying. I just do. Joe gonna hire somebody, man. Huh? Ain't no telling. You know, you get money, you can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's real. Where you got yourself at uh, pecking order, DBU? Where you got yourself? You got yourself ahead of Joe, Lido? I let the fans decide that, yeah. baby. No, no, you got to give me something, man. You got to give me something, man. I'm man. telling you, I don't, huh? bro, I ain't never been the guy that, like, like growing up, I ain't never really brag about nothing I used to do, bro. Like, right. I don't really talk about it. If you ask my homeboy, we ain't never talk about me. They might bring it up, but at the end of the day, I'm going to sit back and say, yeah, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna just say, oh, I was better than Anquan. Uh, right, right, oh, right, right. I was better than Deuce. I ain't right. even to say none of that. At the end of the day, that Deuce, that's that's Tom, right? Yeah, that Deuce is that Deuce. Deuce one. Man, we gotta have yeah, a conversation. Man. We gotta go back a little At bit. At the end man. of the day, yeah, yeah, the fans yeah, yeah. decide Deuce all that. One, you feel man. me? What yeah. you got? What you put in that paper decide all that? Do you feel like you in that conversation though? Of course, no doubt. I not true freshman on campus. Boom, boom, boom. I so you talking to now? So you feel it? Yeah, I, don't, I ain't coming to the play. I came up. I struggled a little bit of spring. I, I got my mind right. I went home for a little bit. I told my dad, when I get back, I'm going to be the starting cornerback. By game three, I'm going to be the starting cornerback. Shit, by game one, I was the starting cornerback. Shit. Now, you mentioned Tone, man. So I want to take it back just a little bit, man. Yeah. So you played with Tone, and, and the shit he was doing in high school was crazy. And I guess you was Antoine a Antoine Smith. Yeah. yeah. Antoine Smith, people don't know, um, five-star running back out of Pahokee. Ended up going to FSU and, and had a good crew at Atlanta Falcons. Man, I, I a, seen some crazy. I'm gonna let you finish. But I seen some crazy track battles, man. When when, when he that's was that's what I want to talk about too, man. Cause y'all had some speed back then. Deontay, yeah, Deontay Trav. Finish your, finish your story though. Go go. But go yeah, ahead, man. Go. Give me give me. A, let's talk about you know playing with Anton as you know as you seeing him going through the recruiting process and being that guy for Hokie and you kind of being that next you know that next guy in line or whatever. How was that like? Yeah, you're pretty dope. You feel me, like. It was scouts coming, you feel me? Like, they'll come in and come out. But when Deuce, you know, start developing and playing, like, they really, really came. And I feel like with me and Deuce's relationship, he ain't never showed me no hate, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was always, like, right now today, it's always, what's up, bro? Like, his vibe in high school, you know, I'm young, so he ain't really vibe with me like that. But at the end of the day, I'm next up, so I'm already watching how I should act. Right, people right, not right. knowing, like, oh, well, well, you, I learned from everybody, man. Deuce, Fonza, you feel me? Like, I ain't just one guy that, when I grew up, I ain't finna just learn from one guy. Right. I had my dad in my yard all the time, you mm -hmm. feel me? So it was like, shit, I'm gonna just learn from everybody. Right. And what right. they do, I can't do. You feel me? What they fuck up at, I know I can't do that, because it'll fuck up. I, right. I fuck up. You feel me? Yeah. Shit. You have any uh, survivor's remorse from, from, you know, old partners from the crib? Everybody ain't make it out, man. Yeah, I do, man. I got a lot you know, of them. They always say yeah. the best player is always the best player, you know, and that don't make it. Right. I mean, shit. I buy it without my dog, just like we was in high school right now today. That's what's up. You feel me? Like, that's rare. But at the end of the day, shit, you know, I was the one that got lucky. Not saying I was lucky, but I was just that 1%. You feel right. me? Right. Like, I ain't, my dog's my dog forever, you feel me? I ain't switching no side, no nothing. I don't give a fuck what I got. 
So back then, man, you had Pahokee, you had Bell Glaze, you was speed everywhere, man. Who was the fastest in the muck back then? I know it went me. <laughs> I know it went me, goddamn. <laughs> uh, back then, shit, them boy went at it, bro. Uh, Depends on who, like, at what, at what at time frame you called them. Like, yeah, um, like. Deuce was killing shit for a good little minute. Um, and then I remember my uncle yeah, calling Deontay me. Yeah, Deontay came on the scene. My uncle called me, at, like, one day, and was like, man, we got one, man. I was like, what you talking about? It was a young, it was a sophomore. So he, 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 we got something for Deuce. Yeah, I, I went to that track meet, mm. and they, I think they ran uh, the 200 first. And I think Deuce Deuce came up lane in that race. Yeah. He didn't finish it, and Deontay uh-huh. had them pulled away, but he didn't finish it. Yeah. And they ran the hundred. He had them scratched out, and Deontay burnt them up again. Nah, I heard about Deontay it. Deontay was a bad man up. on that track, bro. Nah, I already know. I already know. Trap them was too. Them boys were rolling. Them I went rolling. nowhere out there, bro. <laughs> I ain't, ain't gonna what you was doing, Mal? Who, me? Yeah, you weren't even out there? Man, I mean, I, I probably was playing baseball. <laughs> oh, that's what you played baseball as well yeah, in high school? Played, yeah, I played baseball. What, posi- what position you played in baseball? Third base. I played shortstop. You was side right here, though. Yeah, y'all was guard. But I know how to play baseball. Right. So <laughs> we was side right here. <laughs> no, we ain't known for that, bro. No, not at all. Just football for the main part. They played basketball, but it was physical. Yeah. Man, uh, so you was a full star recruit. Every damn team in the country wanted you, right? Yeah. Uh, fact, no, I, not USC. They ain't offer me, bro. No. You gonna go to Cali? No, nah, I ain't gonna go. I didn't want to see it in the box. Pete ain't offer you. Nah, he ain't offer me. I don't know they why. Had big though. weed out there. Huh? Had yeah, big weed. Yeah, he ain't, he, ain't, he ain't offer me though. That's the only one they ain't get. I don't yeah, know why. So, just talk about going through that process as being, you know, the big time recruit. Uh, everybody coming to holler at you, phone blowing up, mail coming every day. Uh, just talk about your recruiting process and just going through that as as a kid. You know, coming from coming from the muck. It was wild, like, all these schools want me, you feel me? It was like, I'm getting the letters, you feel me? People started coming to the school. One day I had Florida, Florida State, Miami, Oklahoma, and Texas in my driveway at the same time, Mm. waiting to come in the hall. Mm -hmm. And they were like, dang, these people really want me. But at the end of the day, I had, like, my daddy, my mentor, like, when it came to that football stuff, it was like, man, holla at them. You feel me? Like, talk to them. And right now today, it's at that point still, like, money-wise, from family in it, talk to my dad, talk to my mentor, because I already know they're going to say no. So what my daddy say, not what he say, but at the end of the day, if I'm sending them to my dad, he already know what to say. You feel me? It ain't no, oh, well, what Janari said. Me and my dad have been on point since 12, 13. That's it's dope. like That's dope. That's dope. If I tell you to call my daddy, you already know you finna get no. Well, my daddy already know he gonna tell you no. You feel mm-hmm. me? I ain't gotta call dad, my daddy and be like, hey, when that person call you, tell him no. Call my daddy. Who? Call my daddy. No, man, what the hell? No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> you feel me? At the end of the day, boom, hang up. Yeah, hey, yeah. I can't do nothing, baby. I, I can't help you. That's real. That's what's up. So Parks kind of filtered out everything. So with Parks filtering out everything and 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 just, and moving all that side noise. You hone in on how many schools? What was your top schools? I don't, you don't believe me, but I was going to go to Clemson. I do. Matter of fact, because it's crazy. I was gonna go to Labor Clemson. Day, when Florida State played Clemson, I was at that game on, on a recruit visit. You was there too, matter of fact, I believe. You took a visit to Clemson when played Florida State. Yo, going to your senior year? You pro- yeah, I believe you was there, bro. But, go, yeah. but this is crazy you mentioned Clemson, because I think you was at that game. Yeah, I was going to go to Clemson, but my top school was at Clemson in Florida. Yeah, but that ain't really matter to me. You feel me? Either I'm gonna be a Gator, or I'm gonna go be a Tiger. Cause I like that. I ain't like their football team. I just like their colors, bro. But real good for them. They had some decent, that was crazy. They had some crazy decent uniforms. Pahokee's yeah. a Florida State town, though. That what made you buck that Pahokee trend. Pahokee a Florida State Kinda, town. Kind of, well, yeah, Anquan's a couple of. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Florida State town. I'm trying to be different. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I ain't That's why to... it caught me off guard, even when, cause yeah, I'm a Gator got, fan. You got calling that recruitment. It was a lot of buzz about him. Kind of like it was just all for me because yeah. we just before before Janaris, it wasn't a whole lot of pokey players. I don't think nobody really. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he just said his own thing, but it was really like Belgle was the Gator Town. Gator Town. Yeah, Pokey was Florida, Florida State. State. That's mm-hmm. crazy. They but still rivalry. They got rivalries all the way to college. Right, right. That's right. crazy. <laughs> She's deeping them up. <laughs> we deep enough. But talk about um, was that your your lead recruiter? Who that? That was Sweeney. Was he your, was he your recruiter? No, man. He ain't there. Who was your recruiter? Well, um, Who recruited you out of the muck? From Clemson. No, Dabble, Tommy was the head coach. Dabble Tommy Brown was the head hilarious. coach, but he was a receiver coach at that time. Dabo. 
No, nah, it went down both. No, nah, Tommy Bowen was the head coach. Tommy and Ricky Miller was uh, the defensive back coach. I don't remember his name, bro. I don't. I can't even remember that far. Yeah, it's been a minute, huh? It's been like, yeah, it's been like 14. Man, that's crazy. Time 12. do fly. But I guess let's talk about, you know, go, laying, um, weighing the pros and cons with Florida and Clemson. What made you choose uh, Florida? I think Urban Meyer sold me. When he came to the crib, <clears throat> he was like, man, you the missing piece. I'm like, me? Yeah, a defensive back, you the missing piece. You come there, show me this, show me that, you will be the starter. But you, and you're going to get the education, you feel me? But you got to work. I'm like, damn, okay, that ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't that hard, you feel me? You're telling me I can, if I come in and do what I got to do, I can start. Clemson, you feel me? They liked me. They loved me, actually. Like, But it was like Urban Meyer, I guess he's from Gainesville, so he used to come to that bitch every Tuesday. Urban Meyer, though, no matter what. Ain't nobody that coming. I don't think mm -hmm. he can do that. <clears throat> right. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I know every no Tuesday. So Urban knew who his guy was. Yeah, I knew every Tuesday. He coming. Boom. He going to get done. Urban himself. Not, not, not the assistant coach. Man, Urban. I, no, Urban. Urban coming. <laughs> I'm going to see, I'm gonna see um, Doc Holliday at Shout the football game. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm going to see Doc Holliday at the football game, but I'm going to see Urban Meyer on campus. Yeah. That's real. Man. I respect it. So Urban so, sold it by being being consistent. Get to Florida, then. I know, do what you got to do. I know we had a couple cats. Yeah, we we uh like a mod came on a lot of Urban Meyer guys. So that that freshman year when you get on campus, a little de-recruitment. Like he hyped you up, Ooh. get you on campus from Urban Meyer. It's a little de-recruitment process. Did you go through that? You you started as a freshman, so you may not have gotten that treatment. But I know uh, Urban Meyer is a, psych talking a little shit he's a psychology you. major, so he he does the mind games and what. Like, give us some of that. Uh, give us some of that energy of uh, Urban Meyer. Uh, playing psychology on, on you young boys. Why you, why you drink? You taking a drink? You doing the frog on me? Say that again, Bob man. Say What's it again. Up? What you that? So, what are you talking about? Whatever you just asked me. Oh, the frog? Oh. <laughs> nah, bro. Like, Urban Mike just kept it real. Like, he gonna tell you you gonna play special teams. You feel me? Right. If you come in, do what you gotta do. Like, he ain't sugarcoat shit. We get in trouble. Motherfucking ESPN ain't gonna hear about that. Sh they might hear about something. Okay, he got in club. He got in trouble. He missed. It. His grades ain't right yet. He ain't right. gonna go out and put like, okay, he failed three drug tests. Like, right. He's gonna always be like, I'm for the kids. I'm He's for the a players guys. coach. I'm, I'm a players coach. So it was like, we get in trouble. Remind, he gonna punish us now. Like it be like, you missed the first game, Citadel. Okay, coach. Who gives a fuck? Right. You feel me? Like we gonna miss that. If right. we fucked up, he gonna run you, like, and he gonna make sure, bro, like, you eat good. He gonna show everybody associated with you in your life, your mama. Every every time they come up, he gonna show love. Like, it ain't gonna be no wait to this time, wait to that time. Right. It's like bring them to the they facility. The priority. Bring them to the facility. Everybody vibe, run around like you know, family. Like family, you feel me? And. Do you think Bruh. he changed over the years? Do you think he's still the still the uh, same urban from then? Yeah. Yeah? That, yeah, of course. Is that guy just, just at the Jags and shit? It's just the NFL, bro. Urban Meyer mindset was like this. That was crazy. He didn't even get back on the plane, got a lap dance from a woman that wasn't his wife at a bar. But his mindset, he got a he got a college coach mindset. Like you can't control NFL guys, bro. Like right, you right. can't tell them. Not to go out. That's psychology. You can't make sure they you can't in do class. That. You can't, you do can't that. play them psychology game with grown me? ass. Millionaires, True. it's different. Like he was able to, um, just that his, he was a, a great recruit, and he says it because of like psychology. Yeah. Like, he used a lot of the stuff he learned in college uh, in the recruiting process. Like, it's a little that. different when you're dealing with mature grown ass you, men. Dealing with grown men, man. Man. you ain't just dealing with yeah, grown men. It's, it's a little do, bit bro. different. So, but Gainesville was on fire at that time. Look, what he did at Ohio State when he left Gainesville. Yeah, yeah everywhere he went, it's, it's got popping, bro. He get popping. Not NFL, not college. He got a popping in Jags too. He up out of there. Yeah. See, everywhere he go, he hey, get don't a popping. Do, don't do him like that. I love you. <laughs> Gainesville was on fire, bro. That yeah. when y'all was there, man. Um, rest <clears throat> in peace to Aaron Hernandez. Give us, give us some eight, uh, Aaron Hernandez stories, man. Aaron, Aaron Hernandez, that my dog. Chico. Freshman year. No lie, no cap. We in camp. You know, you gotta stay at the hotel for camp. You right. see me? Mm hmm. So. I'm trying to smoke. 
I'm a freshman. I'm still trying to smoke. I'm trying to smoke. But Aaron came to me. He was like, hey, Rabbit, come on, bro. You're going to hang out with me today. We're going to make it back in time. <laughs> Kid, you not. I go to his crib. We do. We you know, roll up, chill, vibe. Like, damn. And we just hang out. Like I said, party, bro. Like, he was, I feel like he was one of us. You feel me? Like, he was real. Like, that bitch came to the mug. Yeah, for sure. Came to the mug a couple times. Yeah, we was in all the police case. Yeah, he came. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Bell Glade, like pistol buying, a lot of shit was going on, man. He, that, man, he, was that, he definitely cool. was hanging out in the mud. He was cool, bro. Yeah, like, for sure. You ain't finna, like, I don't give a fuck what they said on ESPN, you know what I'm saying? To me, he's a lawyer you got. Right. I don't buy that shit. Like you can't you can't sell me that with Chico. You feel me? Like right. as far as I don't I don't know about the but the gay shit, what it, nah, man, I ain't that man at all. I ain't never heard that. Right. Never. So why you gonna put that on Netflix? Right. They, Try they to say, embarrass they say, a bit. Right, right, right. Come on, man. Look. Yo, Bill, you up, tell you down. Of, you're right about that. Especially you can't defend yourself. Man, they're gonna kill you after your death, man. They do that, they do that to most uh, uh African -American, bl black. Man. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. do that after your That's death, it. man. They're gonna after your demise, they're gonna slander you. But you talk about you had Hernandez Silk to say how gangs were popping. You had the Pouncy Twins, you had Tebow. It was lit. Yeah. Right. You had you had Joe, like you said, you had Spike. Y'all just loaded Curtin off Harvey, person. Right. Riley Cooper. Coop. And Major Wright. Major. Carlos Dunlap. Nuts. Keep going, man. <laughs> Dude, who's that, bro? Like, Nuts. Right. Man. So let's talk about the battles in practice, man. And just how hard it was going. Well, the, the competition in practice going against those type of goes those type of guys. Because every day you gotta bring bring your A game. That bit used to be hard. That bit used to be hard. I, I had went up against Percy one time. You know, I, okay, that Percy. I feel like I'm that dude too. So he lined up in the slot. They like my second, not in my freshman year. Man, they did ran a, just a straight takeoff, like from this side of the field to the other side of the pylon. But he hit me with a uh uh, and then he took off. That bitch ain't never practiced no more. <laughs> no more, bro. <laughs> Word. That be with, that's the most practice. exciting player I ever played with, bro. Yeah, no doubt. Like, I feel like every time we played, then we got 21. Percy Harvey gonna, gonna get us 21 three. off the ripple. Like and that. Chibo huh? gonna get us 7, 14. Man, we up 21 already. And then like the battles, it used to be like, we used to have like days, it'd be like, I forgot the fuck we used to say. We used to say some shit. But it'd be like, uh, receive the DB one on one. Like they, we used to keep tally of that shit every day. The next day, the same shit. End of the week, we had to do some shit, some crazy shit them boy had us doing, Murphy and Pouncey. But that bitch used to be nice. We used to have fun with that shit, too. Like, it ain't nobody complaining, you feel me? Like, we just battling, trying mm -hmm. to get better. Then game time came, boy, that bitch used to be like 21, boy, we 21 zip already. <sighs> God know they going to do what they do, we going to do what we do. You feel me? Right, right, right. Who had the best hands on the team? Man, Percy Harvin is the best player I ever... No, 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 no. I'm not talking about catching footballs and shit. We you talking about catching Who's the best hands, hands on, on the team? team? Oh, we went... We do that in the street. We ain't never do that in the locker room. It was like, bro, uh, everybody... No, I heard Everybody different. ratchet, bro. Were you, that, were you there that year? I heard Percy Harvin and... Uh, who my man that transferred in? The coach, Billy Gonzalez. I went there. See, you went there, yeah. You went there, yeah. You went there, yeah. When I was there, right. bitch, it's everything. We happen, we happen in the club. Bitch fighting by... Championship reign. My first arrest, bro. My dog lost his reign in the club. Bitch. Police think something different. So, hey, you feel me? He lost his reign in the club. And I had a little. Y'all remember the chain they used to wear? The little thin, little gold chain, but they had a little circle with the Jesus head and the last up in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I had one of them. I had Jet Ball with the financial aid. Ooh, I was <laughs> mad, too. I go in the club. You know, we chilling. So my dog said he lost his reign. Um, the purple and black boy, what they call? Who be stumping and shit? I ain't never Cues. been into that shit. <laughs> the purple and black boy. <laughs> purple and gold boy. Purple and gold boy. I ain't never shows. been into shout that shit. Shout out to them boys. So them boys, yeah, shout out to them boys. I ain't hating on y'all. I'm just telling the story. But yeah, <laughs> they come through, you know, they be marching and shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we trying to find the rain, you feel me? Right. Boom. They come through marching. I forgot who it was. I think it was my dog running. Big running. Got up, pushed them, boom. 
Started a whole fight. Boom, boom. Remind you, I had surgery on my left ring finger. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like kind of in a little soft cast, but at the end of the day, boom, boom, boom. So I get out of the club. We, like, they fight. I ain't fighting at the time. You feel me? I'm backing up out the door. No right. lie. Promise to God. I'm backing up out the door. So we get out of the door. While I'm backing up, I'm backing up. So I see who fighting. So now everybody coming outside. Man, that bit. White shirt, black. No, white shirt, blue jean. Boom. I just seen him. I just hit his ass. Bam. He fell. When he fell, I put all my mic into it. <laughs> so when he fell, I leaned. And as soon as I turned around, bitch, I had a motherfucking gun in my face. Poly right there. It was like a, a taser gun. But at the time, bitch, I ain't know. Right, right, So right. my first reaction, bitch, I'm finna strike. I'm finna go. I'm finna get missing. So I took off. Boom. Jumped the gate. I'm saying jumped the little tree thing. Realized, shit, I ain't going nowhere. I'm just running. I just ran across the street. And I don't know where I'm going because it was like, I jumped, I jumped the tree and right there was like a, a little complex or something. Mm-hmm. Now I'm stuck. So I'm like, damn, run to the left, get back on the road. I run across the road. Instead of me keep, you know, keep going, I, my dumb ass stop, turn around, put my hand behind my head, and lay down on the ground. They wanna call you. When to call me, but I ain't know I was going. You gotta think, bro. I'm I'm fresh out of high school. I'm fresh in college. You feel me? Right. Like, shit. All right, I'm reminiscing a little bit. So I'm going back to that moment when um my man Urban Meyer had his fake heart attack, man. What what what, what was your what was you like then? What was you what was you thinking about him at that moment? I ain't know what to say. I was just like, damn. Like, and it was like my junior year. You're talking about my junior year, right? Junior it was like year. my junior year. Right. I was like, damn. But he called me. Like, that's what I respect. At the end of the day, he told me he was going to leave. So he told me whatever decision he make, I make, he behind me. Because I could have came out as a junior. You feel me? So it was like, hey, whatever decision I make, he behind me. So I'm like, damn. But he told me he was leaving. Right, right, right. So I don't know what it was. I can't really say. Mm. I think it was just the pressure of the, I don't know, the, just the pressure of the job at Florida. There was a lot going on too, man. You guys had a lot of arrests. I don't have all the yeah, stats, we had but a lot, a lot of, of arrests. There was a lot, a lot of, of turmoil in the city. You think, Urban just had, what, what, you think Urban was too cool the situation where he didn't have control or, or what it was? Nah, it just, when it got out there, it got out there. Like, Urban always tried to find a way. He hit it. a lot. He always tried to find a way for it not to be out there. You feel me? But, you know, once some shit happened downtown, he in the bed sleep 2 30 in the morning. Right. You feel me? Like can't put the fire out. I can't put the fire out. So it's like, boom, it's steady in the news. But he handled that shit though, because there was a lot going on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So he made a transition. Uh Must Champ comes in. Urban Meyer's out. So Must Champ comes in. Uh different, different energy, different type of guy. Tell us yeah. the biggest difference, man. Um obviously the energy. Um Urban Meyer's a lot cooler. Urban uh Must Champ has a big sure. energy guy. You want me to be real with you, bro? Yeah, keep it 100. When I, decide, when I decided to come back, I kid you not, I met with Mutch at one time, and I told him, I say, for me to come back, you got to give me da 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 X, Y, Z. That check, right. Whatever. For sure. And I ain't coming to no, no position meeting. <laughs> I swear to God. You made your demands. I ain't coming to no position meeting. I ain't coming to no workout. I'm only coming to team meeting deal. So after that day, I ain't see him no more until, cause I ain't, I ain't go to no meeting. You can ask him, anybody that was at college, in college with me my junior year. I ain't go to them. I only went to team meeting, bro. So I ain't get to go to his office and talk to him. Cause I told him at that point, I just want to focus on class. You right. see, try to get my degree or whatever. He rolled with it. And then I seen him that day. Then the next time I seen him, I had I got busted again downtown for smoking. And he was just like, the best thing he could do is let me go. You feel me? I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'll see you later, baby. Like, I'm going to catch you at the top. But he ain't never, like, when the school was calling Florida, though, he ain't talk bad about me. He was just like, he likes to smoke weed. Like, at that point, you got to keep it real. Right, like, right. You got to tell them that I like to smoke weed. Right. So right. other than that, I ain't had no run in. With him on the now level, coaching level, none of that. Team meeting, he break down the schedule. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. doubt. That's it. So uh, you, you, you're out of U, uh, University of Florida and you got to hit the transfer portal before it was the transfer portal, man. What was that process like? You can't go D1. 
You had to go like you Division two. You had a red shirt. Cause you was yeah. You if if I would have went Division one, I, I would have had to sit out of here and then play. Right. So I was there like in North Alabama back then. Terry Brown was the head, head coach, coach, man. Yeah, so that he, thing rocking though. He, 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 he used to get, get everybody from Florida State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was all, the, guys. all the boys from Florida oh, State. Everybody else was smoking weed. Yep. I don't know what the ball doing. I don't know what the ball doing, man. North Alabama. I don't know what the ball doing. For sure. Shit. But. Brown what, was cool as hell, though. What was yeah. it like going from, like, the University of Florida, where it's like paradise, you got all the, the lap of luxury, uh, the best facilities, and then you had uh, a smaller school like North Alabama. What was that like? It was tough. I went to Ben and Clad with, like, 1,500 people. To Ben and Clad with, like, 13 to 14 people. Mm. Damn. You feel me? Like, I'm used to, like... That's a big adjustment. Walking down the, a half a mile just to get to a class. You know why that's, that's even tougher? Cause he know he about to be rich as hell, right? So I just left like a, a real tough. comfortable situation. I got to deal with this poverty for one, one year. year man. One year. Yeah. Like that situation man messed you up a little bit with um with uh, getting dismissed from Florida. I was not worrying about that, bro. Yeah. When I got kicked out, I was just saying I'm finna go to school. You lost some money with it now, though. Yeah, I, I did. Because you, 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 you was probably you was top ten. But that he went, he went, yeah. But you gotta look no at doubt. it, bro. What they doing now? They don't give a fuck about weed. Nah, you yeah. feel me? So I feel like back then, like I said, he's a pioneer. I just got caught. You feel me? Like he's it ain't go. shit. I was just one of the ones in the era that got used to get caught, and it ain't work out. Right, right. Yeah, so how was it, you know, playing with those guys at North Alabama? Cause it was some, it was some guys on that on those teams too. Yeah, them boy, <laughs> them boy was good, man. Them boy had talent. Like, I remember the dude, his name Rod Wilson, but he had came from Bama. Yeah, and he from Bama, and he probably like five ten, bro. Strong safety. They be used to come to practice, no glove, no socks, <laughs> no wristband. No girl, that be no lady. undershirt. That be coming yeah, yeah. some damn wood, bro. Be be, smacking shit. Savage. That be coming through that bitch. In. That be he 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 was nice though. And yeah. um, nigga named Brian Thomas I played with. Mm. Mm. Brian Thomas played at UF too, right? Yeah, he played yeah, at yeah, UF. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know down. he went to North Alabama as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's Terry definitely had it rocking, man. So, so you go go through process North Alabama. Now it's time to get ready for the draft. So, how was that process like for you? After, after um, North Alabama, I think I came home for like a week. Then I went straight to Arizona. That's where you trained at? Yeah, I had to train in Arizona. Who's out the witch? Because, you know, typically when you, when you be training with people, you have other cats that's within the draft class or whatever. Oh, Who's out the witch? It was me, Robert Griffin, um, what the running back? Uh, Trent Richardson. I'm from Bama. Mm -hmm. Isaiah P. Um... Nick Foles. Yeah, Nick Foles. There was Foles. a couple of a couple of us out there. Like, and like three of us had the same agent, you feel me? It was like me, Trent, and Robert Griffin had the same agent. I was like working out with those guys and, and going at it every day and, and competing with those type of guys. When you working out and training? Yeah. I just like, but you know, they played different positions. So it was like, we'll work out and lift weights together, but we'll never like be on the field at the same time unless we did one on one. Right, okay, okay. But, <sighs> boy, Robert Griffin was a cornball to me. Mm. I'm keeping this shit a bean. Yeah. He was a cornball to me. I don't think, I be loving your takes on Twitter and shit, bro. You've you been controversial like your whole damn time in the NFL. We'll get into that <laughs> shit later, but. Um, uh, why, 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 why you think he a cornball? I don't you, you know. He, just a, he was a cornball to me. I don't know how nobody. Why? Cause he, in my mind, I'm from the muck, bro. Right. Like, certain shit we do, we do. Like, you can right. tell if a nigga, like, been. <laughs> Hanging in the hood, right, 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 right. being around. These, I ain't cornball. I ain't never hanging around them. I, I, what up, RG? That's it. Right, right. Uh -uh. He yeah, cool, though, you if you get to know him. But I ain't never just hung out with him because he always seen him as a cornball. No doubt. So going through that process, what was what, what were you hearing from, like, advisories and stuff with your draft grade coming from North Alabama? What, what were they telling you, you know, the range you could go in and things like that? They were just, like, first round, first round, second round. I was cool with that. First round, second round. Like, shit, I ain't got no other choice. What else I'm gonna do? <laughs> Just right. waiting a little bit. You feel me? You never, never had regrets of like, man, I made some bad decisions and, and, and I cost myself some money. You never look back at any regrets? My dad always told me, baby, live life, whatever happened, have it for a reason. Bro, bro, your dad is that. Your dad, your dad. 
Hey. Fucks with him. I like hey, him. Hey, hey, hold on, y'all, boy. Yeah. I got my dog. Come here, come here, come here, Petey. Hey, no, nah, pops come in, man. I can't bring damn. my son everywhere. That's your pops right there? Nah, that ain't my pops, man. That's my dog, man. That nigga look like... Nigga went to school with me or some shit. <laughs> What's up, what guy? Baby? How you doing, man? What going on with you, bro? Silk, bro. What's going on? Cool. Yeah, what's going hey, on? CJ. My dad don't play. Oh no, nah, he don't play. You don't play? He got punch nine for days. Bro, my daddy yeah? used to be like this. All right, partner. My daddy used to be like this. <laughs> all of us hang together, right? Poke card right. time. He come and check all our poke card. Right, right, right. When he come to school to check on me, he come and check on. Everybody that I'm hanging with. Right. Like, clad to clad, like. That's real, though, man. And playing football, bitch, don't even know, bitch. My daddy used to be my chain man. He used to hold a chain. Right. You feel me for the football team? Mm. That's what my daddy used to do. Like, he ain't never missed a game. Ever. That's what's up. I seen you had pops on vacation with you and all, man. Y'all like that. Like, oh, yeah, man. That's what's up. You feel me? Like, it was like, I only got to return it because, like, growing up, shit, he took me places. Like, you feel me? Like, I went. Like, man, I ain't saying he was rich or like had money. He right made away. It was like my dad always made sure Christmas, we going to Alabama. Talk that gangster shit. Fourth of July. For sure. We going somewhere. Like, right, he right. always, and he get what? When we go to the trip, sometimes he take my homeboy. Already. But like, Easter and all that, little short days, little weekends, he'll take all of us to the rabbit. Right. Take all of us to the movies. Like, that one. So I, it was only right that, okay. My daddy let me see something. I need to show him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just returning your favor. Like, thank you, Pops. You feel right, me? Right, For always right. just being a hundred. Like, that's real. He is who he is, goddamn. That's you know, real. Uh, I mean, they, they paint the stereotypical story of, you know, I mean, the, the regular story is like absentee father, right? Um, yeah. So, like, it's just good we get these stories out where, like, your, your Pops been there the entire time. He ain't show up at the draft or no. No weird shit, man. He been mm -hmm. there, you know what I'm saying, the entire ride, and he been looking out for other, you know what I'm saying, other brothers in the hood as well. That's just dope so. shit. Yeah, so, you yeah. just say that, you know, he coming in and checking everybody report card. He coming to check on U.S. school, and he looking out for your crew too. Everybody. That's real. And get what? When he ride through the hood, anybody shooting dice, all that, he going to pick up the dice. Anybody paying down, pans up. Mr. Will ride through the motherfucker. Now, when he get to the other end, right. going to drop the dice, drop the pen. And we back vibing. That's just how it was, bro. That's real. That's what's up, man. So you get selected number number thirty nine overall to the St. Louis Rams. Mm -hmm. um, where you was at? What was the vibe? Did you have a uh, draft party? Man, I had a draft party. I thought I was going first round. You feel me? So the first day I had the draft party. I ain't get picked. I was hot. You saw it a little oh, bit. Oh man, how fresh was you? I went fresh. I had just throw on a little something. Right. Like, where was that? Huh? Where was that? I had it the in the, at the crib in the month. Mm -hmm. So I ain't get drafted. You feel me? Next day, I was in Wellington, though. Um, at my mentor crib. Just me, my mom, no, me, my girl, and I had just had a baby and my mentor. We did it that way. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. So you get that call from the rounds, man. How was it? You know, just that relief of the, you know, the monkey out the back, the, all the stuff you've been going through. Oh, boy, somebody in trouble, boy. Right. What? They done let me in the door. <laughs> what? You don't let me in that motherfucker? <laughs> right. Oh, man. Right, right. <sighs> okay. So what's that, that feeling like when you realize, you know, you, you riding at some point, you got to go cash this check or deposit is going to hit. Yeah. And, you know, then you can see all them zeros, you feel me? So <laughs> when that happens and you realize, bro, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a millionaire. My life is never going to be the same. Right. Uh, what's that feeling like? Be all real. Cause, and when you get that first... That first check, you feel me? Tell me, because it's on know the way. What the, you yeah, gonna know when the bitch is coming. Let me know yeah, how Let I us feel. know, bro, because huh? we trying to get it. Yeah, well, you gonna it's know, on the way for us, so we trying to coming. figure out what it, so what it's what like, feel shit. like. That bitch gonna drop on a Tuesday, mm. right after the game. That yeah. Tuesday gonna drop, boom. You know you got them zeros in there. So at that point, it's like, I ain't seeing my check, but I already know they in the account. Once I log on my information, you feel me? I'm looking, bitch. It's Tuesday. Oh, they be done hit. Monday night, 12 o'clock. Boom. I got it. I got it. Shit. Then me? Shit. So what that, purchase, that, that uh, first purchase was? My first purchase, bro, I bought my mama. I bought everybody a car. Not everybody. <laughs> I mean everybody as in. I bought my mama. Nah, I bought my mama. I bought my daddy. I bought me. You ain't tell, tell them to call Pops? And I bought my baby right. mama. I bought my baby mama a car. So I bought everybody a car, so nobody could be complaining. 
we're gonna start like that. Right. You feel that me? That kept baby mama happy? Oh yeah, she was cool. Like she ain't really no problem. Forever? Bruh, I ain't got no problem with my baby mama, bro. Tight. Like I ain't I'm the type, bro. I'm, I'm not finna argue with you. Right. You feel me? Like I ain't finna argue with you. I ain't got time to argue with you. Like what what we arguing for? Right. You my baby mama, I'm your baby daddy. Right. So when Sounds you, logical. When you take me out there, Oh, laugh that's too long. I ain't reading all that shit. Laugh out loud. Yeah, oh, you know what's in, in, the, in you know. the conversation. Laugh out loud. Okay. Like. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right, it's going to be cool. left on red, but I did not read all that shit. That's right. a fact. All right, so you got you got the cars or whatever. All yeah. right, so when we we had we, we had an interview with Crow, and we had an interview with Trav Johnson. Most of them boys saying, man, they blew, just being young, they blew hella money within their first contract. Was, were you the same way? You blew, you got your money too fast. You blew it in your first, blew some of your first contract. You had to read it. pops around, cause my daddy, my daddy, and my mentor, bro. Tell you. I'm real. telling you, when I first got in the lead, bro. I only bought four cars. Yeah, I only bought four cars. I ain't bought my mama no house, no nothing. I only bought four cars. On the first one, first one. That's real. You feel me? Everybody just need transportation. Y'all don't need nothing else. Damn, right. that's real. You boy. feel me? Right. And it's crazy. The th crazy thing about it is, you know. A I, lot of, a I lot blew of some money now. I ain't nah, 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 most I definitely. But a lot of people, they with the situation like that, they just they go crazy on stuff, and then you have people left and right, you know, pull them, put them. Like you said, you had to, your pops say, you know. Now I'm finna give you real spill. It's a difference, bro. Mm -hmm. When you get money and you ain't used to money, right? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Or you ain't used to women, mm -hmm. like bitch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, we finna hang out a little bit. Now oh, we yeah, pie. Sure. Now we pie. So if it is like this, bro. Now we pie. I look at life like this. Let's go. When you go out there and blow all that money, that means because, first of all, you ain't used to compensate that. for something. You ain't used to fucking hoes, because that's what you want. You want women. You ain't used to fucking women. Mm. You feel me? You ain't never had no swag. Mm. You feel me? So you can't dress. So I'm you ready to be money. rich. Boy, I got all that <laughs> shit. I did all that right there. You ain't never had no car, so you trying to. Check. Uh, be like me, man. I had three kids, bro, when I was 20 years. By the time I was 20 years old, I was used to fucking hoes. Like I, How many baby mamas you had? When? In had three, you had three kids, yeah. I just want to see your ratio, like if you're keeping up with Crow. I had two baby mama at the time. Oh, okay, that ain't bad. You feel me? Right. So it's like, I've been in high school, I'm, I've been fucking whole. Like, I ain't saying I used to get fresh, fresh as I do now. Right. But I always made sure, bitch, I had some fresh shoes, jeans, and a white tee on, because that was popping back in the day. Right. You feel me? Like. So you had a no tricking policy. Niggas who go out there and just blow it, blow it. I ain't saying all of them like that, but most of them. They ain't used to having women. Mm -hmm. Like, they ain't used to being in the eye. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They like, ain't used to being that guy. They ain't used to being that guy. You ain't gonna never, I go to the club, bro. You ain't gonna never see me in that bitch jumping up and down, sweating. I ain't with that. Mm -hmm. Man, all these women in here, come on, man. I'm used to women, though. Right. You feel me? And I ain't finna go just, I'm gonna go holler at her. Nah, bitch. Right. What was St. Louis like? So you get to the St. That was my spot. St. Louis, New it? Orleans, yeah, that was my spot. I love that bitch. I know the food was good in New Orleans, but we, we, we talk about St. Louis right now, man. So you, you get the Rams and you, know, you playing, man. So I, I was with the Rams. That was my speed. It's just that we weren't winning, bro. Yeah. I feel like at that time, shit, we just what we, we was, bro. We ain't had no quarterback. Shit was all bad. Yeah. But man, how was it playing with Bradford? New Orleans. Yeah, you, 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 you already played against them. St. Louis on three. One, two, three. St. Louis. Like that, huh? That's it. Okay, then. No leader at all when it comes to that type of stuff. One, but two, it's, it's three. St. Louis. Okay, what's the difference? We talked about the transition from, like, uh, you, you transitioned from high school to college. Yeah. Uh, it's a different transition from uh, being a college athlete to a professional athlete, right? For sure. Uh, like, you, like you just saying, like, this, the business part of it. Um, so it's not hooray and all that shit. Now you a businessman. You was already making your business demands with Muschamp when, when you gonna show up to, to meetings. So you was already setting your mind up to be a businessman. So when it becomes not a game no more, you know, uh, was well, a child's game for a king's ransom, what they call it, right? Yeah. Now you playing for for a king's ransom, shit's a little different. Uh, you gotta show up to meetings and shit like that. So what was the business part of it like when you got to the league? Remember early I said I always did what? I learned from other people. Right. So when I got to the league, I had Cortland Finnegan. You know, he ratchet. No, oh, he cool, was crazy. Yeah, he cool, was, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? He's with the shits. Main focus, man, I just had to lock down one thing. When they gonna draw it to me. Once I managed that, <laughs> listen to me, I'm for real, bro. 
Once I manage that bitch, yeah. Courtland heard. gave you the, Courtland gave you the, uh, the science on how to uh, shake the, the drug test? No, it ain't no science. He just gonna tell you, bro, they gonna test you. He told me, listen, man. Bro, they gonna test you between this time and this time. Right. Every year. <laughs> By this time, just be clean. Get what? By that time... Bitch, the rabbit clean, goddamn. I ain't got nothing in my... <laughs> right, by that so time... If, if people know the time frame, man, what? Some motherfuckers just be ignorant, bro. Some motherfuckers just like to... Like... Right. Just like to be a fucker sometimes. Like... Yeah. You telling me... If you know you got to stop this time of the year, and then everybody... I'm, if you know everybody you around you, they know. Right. Because get what? They around you every day. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So they know. So if you can't stop and the motherfucking around you ain't gonna help you stop, basically, baby, you just a you just a hook that I'm throwing in the in the water. Right. Like you debate, like, come on, bro. It's simple. And people don't understand about NFL, bro. About life, about anything. Just do the simple shit, right, bro? And you'll never have a problem. I had to learn that though. I ain't just learned that bitch like when I was, I had to learn that after everything that I've been through. Yeah, the hard way. Yes, sir. No, sir. People find that hard. Open the door. Be on time. You know you got to be on time. Just be on time. Right. And you do all that simple shit right, bro, you'll never have a problem in the league. Ever. I mean, That's you have a few problems in the league. Be accountable. Bro. No, I ain't had no problems in the league, bro. Okay, we went. let's go to New York. I like, well, you've been in some five cities. But I ain't had no problem, bro. I like, I like St. Louis. No, ain't no problems, but, yeah. you know, like, we're going to get into, like, controversial shit. Oh, that I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What a bitch. Like, I'm going to always speak my mind. Yeah, I like it. Me too. You that's, feel That's why we here, bro. Yeah, that's how I got sure. here. You know? That's why Kush, all this shit got built on us just saying the fuck we want to say. The high pole to be. And we'll, we'll, God, man, up, we'll, sort, we'll sort the rest out later. You, bro, you babysitting over here. I'm about to go on joint two. You, your cup ain't finished. I'm re-upping on the cup. I ain't. I'm going to keep it And I'm articulating my shit, even, too, man. Drink. I'm just drinking on y'all shit. I'm trying to keep up with me. I do this shit a little bit, so don't you smoking. You ain't hear nothing I just said. What happened? What happened? I don't even drink. I'm just drinking on y'all Oh, shit. I don't drink neither. I'm not oh, drinking. Okay. I'm a smoker, bro. I don't really do this drinking shit. You get lighter. But uh, I'm kicking it with real niggas. Sometimes I, I, I drink a little bit. You feel me? Yeah. Um, you got to be versatile, man. Be able to do both. Yeah. Already. About it. What were we talking about? I'm about to talk about some real shit. What the cities, man. Oh, the cities. Yeah, yeah you've been in some fire cities, man. So uh, you get to uh, New York. Yeah. Um, you vibing there, man. What, what was what was it like when you pulled up in New York City? You went from... You don't, uh, this, I'm going to show you the culture change he done just went through, right? My man done went from Pahokee. To some Gainesville, shit. <laughs> like, that's like an upgrade in country right there, right? To you Alabama. Know? Right. That's, 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 some, that's some, Florida, to, to Alabama. Alabama some Florida, Alabama. Florida, Alabama. <laughs> Florence, Alabama. Yeah, right. Florence, yeah. Alabama. Yeah. Country. Yeah, Florence, Alabama, some country shit. Gets drafted to St. Louis. You know, upgrade a little bit. It ain't country a big shit. upgrade, but country shit. Right, still more some country, country shit. shit. Yeah, country more shit. country shit. Um, now you in the city, city. Now you in the city. The Big Apple. What was the vibes like? Vibe was the vibe, bro. We used to be lit. Like, I don't know. Like New York to me, it was like. Man, how much you cried when, when when that check came? You see how much taxes was coming out. <laughs> I ain't cried. How much shit? Well, I ain't never had this much up in my life. Well, I ain't cried. Well, that's real. You feel me? This I ain't never had. So at the end of the day, yeah. I ain't I ain't cried, bro. But New York, it was it was it was cool. Like they had they got a lot of five restaurants. That's real. You feel me? Like when I played in New York, everything was in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Like we go to New York, you know, after the game, mm -hmm. hit the club, strip club. But you stayed in Jersey. But I stayed in Jersey. Yeah. So, Script club used to be cool. The clubs I ain't really vibe with. Y'all practice in Georgia too, right? Yeah, we practice right there so, by the um Meadows, right? No. Metal in Meadowlands by the yeah. um they they built the mall over the Nato. Yeah, so basically everything you did was in Jersey, huh? Everything, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So with uh Giants is making a draft pick. Yeah. And they're they they uh they choose Daniel Jones. And you sent out a tweet saying that uh pretty much the Giants wasn't serious and <laughs> If they were about football, if they didn't draft Lamar Jackson. Yeah. And you was right? 100 I, I mean, you hindsight. That, well, I'm hindsight, glad. Right? Huh? Hindsight, that was like, like, you. I don't even think you're brilliant for saying it, but mo nobody else on the team was going to say no shit like that. You caught some backlash. What was, like, what made you just send that that energy out? Because you could have said that to just you and your homeboys. What, 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 what
Let me tell you, let me tell you. A lot of football players, bro, them boy. Yes, man. You feel me? Like, real is real, bro. You know this man not better than this man. Like, you can see that on tape, fucking from, from your room to the video room, from the back. You can see that, and you go That's pick. obvious. What's the problem? Is you trying to win now? Nah? Or you ain't never trying to win? Right. So why you think they ain't pick Lamar? I don't, man. That's, I, I don't know what's going on in the business. I don't know. But at the end of the day, everybody in the world know that ain't supposed to happen like that. Right. But a lot of teams pass up because I'm a Ravens fan. Yeah. You know, we, we jumped back in the first and draft him the last pick in the first round. A lot of teams pass up on him. You, what, what do you think it was? You really think it was the, oh, he, he's, not a, he's, a real, he's not a quarterback, he's a receiver. And, and you look at the, the teams Bro. he played, he played some teams. He beat some guys. If you, you notice, know anytime it's a black quarterback in anything, draft, trying to get paid, Whatever it may be, it gonna always be some back backlash. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't just sit and say this and that. It's like you telling me you know I'm better than him, but instead of being real with yourself, you go find some nigga to talk about. Uh, bro, are you serious? But it's a business to them people, so it's like it's they business over anything. Right. And they, when you speak your image. mind, you gonna have all the outsiders coming in, Instagram, Twitter. Don't even know what's going on. Sometimes it be the they kids of mm -hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? On some fake shit. Like, I don't wanna be in that world, bro. So that's why you never heard me come out and spoke about nothing. I always said what I said. And that's that. Get out of there. Yeah, I ain't finna explain nothing to nobody. Shit. I ain't finna take nothing down. I ain't finna do none of that. I'm gonna say what I gotta say. That's fact. All y'all gonna react. Right. Then I'm gonna bike out of there. Right. And then that's get facts. what? You gonna hate me. I don't care. I don't know you. I ain't gotta see you every day. Right. I mean, also. Nine times out of ten, you hide yourself. That, that, that be the one. Yeah. Like, 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 Hiding yourself. I know I ain't finna have no conversation with you, bro. Your, 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 your picture is a logo of a team. Come on. You got man. your own face as your profile. I ain't finna feed it uh, to none of that. But I mean, I know you're not gonna apologize. It's pretty much the business is what got you out of New York. Uh, right. The tweet uh, about, I think, a fan, and you called a fan a retard. Correct. And, and uh, at first, people thought there were maybe some apology in a press conference or something like that. But you pretty much standed on on business and said, "No, nah, I'm not apologizing. Uh, I didn't mean mean to be offensive. It's just where I'm from. It's That's just a culture, culture thing. We didn't. I didn't mean to be offended. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but I'm not. I stand on. That's definitely a culture thing, especially on the floor. Come on, man. Elaborate on that though. Like, I mean, you got they, they. They they pretty much release you because of that. But what was what was that like? I ain't mad at you. When you call me in the office, you can call him right now. He called me in the office. Say we got to talk to you. Okay, I go in the office. Well, we need you to take that down. <laughs> take what down? Who? Okay. Ain't nothing coming out on my social media. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna speak my mind. Like that part of my culture. Think I'm gonna say something and then take it back. I mean, that's I ain't a no motherfucking peon. Wild culture. <laughs> wild culture. The like, hell? Hindsight, like a little bit. You don't think it's a little bit. You could be wrong. Bro, that's how we talk, bro. You could be wrong, right? Like, you, yeah, you do. That's how we talk. I used to say it all the time. I had to clean some of that shit up. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, you could do that shit, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Like now, as you get older, you probably like, yeah, I was wrong at the time, I ain't but never I, I was. I, I ain't never wrong. The fact. You ain't never wrong? No, I like that shit. That ain't wrong. If I'm Me used neither. to something, that's like you saying, wrong, I'm right. uh, if I'm used to something, that shit, that's just in me. Right. Like, that's in me. That's, that's part of my culture, that's how I talk. Anybody from the hood or anywhere around the world that grew up I don't know in poverty or whatever, they understand that. You feel me? They might not say normal. retard. They might say, he goes stupid. <laughs> He go dumb. He right, go right, silly. Right, right, right. Like, come on, bro. Who y'all right, think y'all? Yeah, they slang. Mm -mm. Right, yeah, they getting too old, a little too old to killing slang a little bit. I feel you, you feel but me? um, real quick, um, what was I just about to say? What were we going with it? Just about the retard stuff. Yeah. yeah. Kush beat my ass then. You asked me about the office, what they said. Yeah. Basically, they told me that after they after they um told me to take it down, they let me go. Boom. Next day came, they called me in the office. Oh, we're gonna have to release you. I said, all right. They said, you ain't got nothing to say? I said, nah, I'm good. Walked out of that bitch. I ain't going to my locker or nothing. I'm good. That's what I was gonna ask. 
That's back all, at I it. swear you can how call me right now. How are we able to, like, because, I mean, a lot of players in the league do a lot of, the, like, they be standing on some gangster shit, but even capping it, try to stand on some gangster shit, and they got them out of there. Right. You done went uh, through some storms. You, still, you done went through some storms, some real shit. Like, yeah. even from college, like, controversial shit. But I always noticed, Maryland. I always been myself, though. I always kept it real, like. Feel that. Whether you say it's real or not, I know what I did or whatever happened, it was real to me. I was real to myself. Like, if I can take the blame for it, why are you worried? I ain't gonna speak on it. I ain't gonna say, oh, I should have did it different. It happened, bro. It happened to everybody. That could have been anybody. You feel me? Right. Like, whatever happened, it happened. Not on no crazy shit, but it's like, I ain't taking shit back. So after you were released, man, who all was calling you? There was a phone ringing off the hook, like Jack Rabbit on the release, so they was like, man, he just let the the. the no, I had New fly. Orleans. <laughs> I had Houston, I had the Cowboys. I had probably Team like 18 South. teams, bro. Yeah. You feel me? 18 teams? 18 teams. But I just needed to be at home. Like, I just needed to feel my culture. Bro. Right. Like, I'm tired of, I was tired of like, going from St. Louis, losing, boom. Going to New York, all this political shit. Right. Besides football, we playing football, but at the end of the day, it's all about politics and media and shit. Oh like, yeah, big time. Now I gotta done. portray and pretend to be fucking Jack Rabbit. You feel me? Right. Go to New Orleans, but I could be myself. Right. Walk right. around with my shirt off, tank top, slide, boom, 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 boom. Right. Different going vibes. to the mall, going to the store. Ain't nobody fucking with me. You right. feel me? Ain't nobody walking you up. You blend in. I blend they in. Might, they might not even think you just so like, you like a rap, just a rapper. I feel comfortable. Right. You feel me? So I feel like for me, to lead New Orleans was the best spot I ever made. Just being back south. So when you say around your culture, you went right. from being up not north pretending, to... not faking, not gotta say this to say this because they tell me to say how this. It is, just, how, just, just, that's a good point though, man. A lot of people don't realize the big cultural difference from being down south and being up north and being in the area like New York. Oh yeah, it's different, baby. You got everything in New York. Oh my god. You feel god. me? What was oh my goodness. New York, New York, New York, New York, New York. Fashion week used to be lit. I ain't used to go to Nah, man, shit, but... New York, New York, New York. And I remember um that's just so you I took back like I been we've been around each other, but me and you haven't like connected. So I've been right. around. Uh, shout out to my man Sandy. I remember um, one day me and him on a, we having a phone call and we talking. Yeah. Uh, about you at the time too. <laughs> um, but I was trying to get you on the podcast. This was this was man when you was in New York. Right. Um, that's how long I've been doing this shit. But I was trying to get you on the time. He was like, man, just I gotta find the right time. You know what I'm saying? When he settled in. Right. And he's like, oh oh shit, I gotta call you back. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I just, you know, walk away with my phone. Like, I, I get up with Sandy, get some recruiting info for the podcast later. But mm -hmm. I get back on the phone with Sandy. He's like, bro, uh, you about to see some shit on the news. Right. Like, shit. what the fuck going on? He told me before he even hit Twitter, he didn't hit any news, Anything. he told me what was going on. But he already knew. He, he knew what was going on. Yeah, we used to communicate. Yeah, uh, so a murder happened in your basement uh, yeah. while you was playing for the Giants. Your yeah. brother, uh, one of your artists, you were out of the country. No, 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 no. What, he wasn't he was my sorry. artist. When you're artist, he clear, my artist. Clear it up. What, 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 what exactly happened? What exactly was going on? It was like, you know, this is my brother. You feel me? He's fresh out of jail, whatever. I got it. That's my big brother. So it was like, I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to look out. Like, I got to show him love. I moved him in with me, whatever. My brother actually bought the dude around. You feel me? They had a. They was cool. Oh, it was their situation. You feel me? But the way my house was set up, it was like, all right, from the main flow on up is my personal space. Mm -hmm. Like my family, kids, people that I know. At the ba in the in the basement, I had like, it was his shit, like my mm -hmm. brother's shit. Basically, you got your own refrigerator, furniture, bed, the living room, his space, his spot. studio. You got that's your shit. Right. You feel me? And it was like, shit, them boy. I don't know how they met. I don't know. They were cool. At the end of the day, that's my brother's space. So I ain't going to say, hey, you can't do this and do that. I'm going to tell you, you already know what kind of guy I am. I'm an right. NFL priller, so people going to come around the crowd. I told them that day one. You feel me? And it was like, shit. I was in Orlando at exact, to be exact when I got the call at the Westgate. Right. I was in Orlando at the pool with my kids. And... 
I can't tell you what's going on. Right, I right. can't tell you how that shit happened. And right. then I went down. Right, 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 right. So when I got the call, it's like, damn. Boom. I'm like, damn, man. Fuck the man I did. You feel me? Long story short, shit came out. You feel me? They, um, when the shit came out, you feel me? I had to go up there. Right, right. You feel me? I got to, now I got to get. Yeah, yeah. Is, that your, is that your spot? Is that your crib? Hey, man, all I know is my brother did my brother homeboy. I don't know what's going on. Right. I'm going to eliminate myself out the rip. You feel me? But it was at my house, and I had cameras and shit, so it was like, shit, everything you want to see is on the camera. Bro, I'm going to tell you some shit, bro. So, like, I'm a Gator fan, right? Yeah. So, I, I'm like, get this news, and I see this shit. I'm getting off the phone with Sandy. All the Aaron Hernandez shit, like, kind of unfolded the same way. Right, right, right. Murder at the crib, cameras. Him leaving the crib. So when I see this shit, I'm just like, man. First thing in my mind, I was like, bro, I hope bro ain't in no bullshit, man. So this shit was scary as fuck when I first saw it. Real shit. People that know me, I right. already know. Ain't no way. Ain't in no problem. shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But from the outside, it'll, it, it probably was, like you said. I mean, they sold it in the media like, oh, yeah, oh you know that Because like, I'm the big time they, name. Yeah, they sold, they sold it. Yeah, they sold it. I'm the big different. time name. So if I right. get a, if I can go catch a, a bass, you feel me? And I got two specs right here. You feel me? What, what I'm going to go catch? I'm going to mm -hmm. catch that bass. That might be too country for a lot of people. Oh, well, mm -hmm. fishes. Bass and specs. You feel me? It's yeah. different. But, so. I'm from Tallahassee. I'm with If you want shit. anything to get out too. there, right. then what? You got to put the big name in the paper. So mm -hmm. I was the big name. You feel me? And that would happen. It like, shit. But y'all ain't going to bam, bro. I don't give a fuck. I went there. I went. I don't know what happened. Right. At the end of the day, I don't know. That's what's up, man. Everything good with bro? Oh, yeah, bro. Good, bro. Got him a nice dime. You feel me? About a, he got about what? Six more? Right. About six more. He good. Okay. That's what's up, man. What was your favorite city out of all the cities you've been in? You've been New since Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans is it? And let's yeah. talk about playing with New Orleans and playing with Drew Brees and, and Sean Payton. And Chauncey, too. You, you and Chauncey was like the wild a little bit. That man. my little dog. That my little dog. That little boy. That wild, man. He that boy that wild. <laughs> that my little homie. Chauncey, he go definitely speak his mind. Yeah, he wow. Yeah, he so cool let's talk him. about playing in New Orleans and, and and playing under you know that regime, man. I think Sean Payton. It was like playing in the muck bowl every game. Yeah, yeah. no bullshit. Yeah, yeah. No fans Super show up, like man. Them people huh? come. Them people. No fans show up, bro. Yeah, and they passionate yeah. too, man. And they, they ain't no bullshit. What? Shit. And my quarterback came in the huddle like this. Hey, man, mm -hmm. let's go get this W and get up out of here, and we gonna pull up. And drink and hey, vibe. On some real shit, I hung out with one, two, three, St. Yeah. Louis. No, nah, <laughs> okay. When y'all the catch it, then y'all right? yeah, 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 okay. No, no, no. On some real shit, I hung out with Drew Brees, right? Mm -hmm. Right before he got drafted. He came back to Palm Beach with Benny Sutherland. Yeah. Benny Sutherland played at Purdue with with uh with, with um Drew Brees. Drew Brees wasn't no big hot. He was a good like uh prospect, but yeah. he wasn't Hollywood ain't he was gonna be no Hall of Famer right, right, right. what he is now. So he came back to Palm Beach. We hanging out at a club. They called it the club. And I realized that night, like, oh uh, yeah, Drew Brees ain't the normal white boy. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, cool, man. He a little different. He's he not, come in that bit with a pep he, in he his step. He change a little bit. He don't he be gonna, gonna, he he gonna, he gonna have that right. swag yeah. with that bit. He was in the yeah. hoodest club yeah, yeah. in Palm Beach vibe. And shout out my man Benny Sutherland, man, who's a Palm Beach legend. But yeah, yeah shout but that out type of shit though. You you, you want to follow as a player though? Yeah, you get that right. vibe. Like I can come. I know my quarterback. You feel me? Like come on. Huh? You ate the crabs in the huddle and shit? Nah, man. No? Jamie, nah, I ain't. You eat the crab fingers? Nah. Jamie's cool. <laughs> he cool, though. He's just funny, though. He's hilarious, bro. Yeah, he I'm a big funny. Jamie's fan. He bro. funny as hell. Yeah, sure. So what's Jamie's like in the locker room? Like, he gonna talk all day. He gonna yeah. motivate you. He gonna do all that. He gonna do all the above, bro. Yeah. And then laugh and joke with you at the same time, too. No bullshit. It's one of the things about James, man. He'll play like that when it's time to switch it and get serious. You know, he he gets here. Lock in. Business. Yeah, he lock in. He lock in for sure. What was it like uh, with Chauncey? You and Chauncey playing in the same secondary, two Gator boys. Uh, he young. He fresh in the league, man. Uh, what's, what was it like playing with that energy? Oh, we were lit, man. We were lit. We, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never met Chauncey until I got to New Orleans. Right. And as soon as I got the boom. I ain't gonna lie, he still hanging with me. I took him under my wing. Right. When yeah. he get on, he, he came on the show. No, no got to get it. Holler at him. I'm gonna get him on the show for you. I'm gonna get him on the show. He, he. That's love. Wow, you feel me? It was like, bitch, we linked automatically. You feel me? Now it, it hadn't got to the point, bitch. 
At the practice, we behind my spot. You feel me? Just chilling, vibing, listening to music. I like, think he think he gravitated you because like you a Florida boy for one, a Gator dude, and you been in this league. You know how to navigate. And look up to him. Look I broke right. it down. See, I use, I break it down, bro. When I get if I go to another team, I'm gonna always break it down to them young boys. Like, mm-hmm. bro, the lead is simple. Like I just told y'all, do the simple shit right, you gonna be okay. You know they test from this time and this time. Be clean. Be on right. time. Don't be late. You feel me? Right. That's it. I just tell them straight up, bro. Just like that. I don't say nothing else after that. We're going to vibe and shit after that. But I'm saying, like, far as I've been doing this shit, not to brag, but I, go. I did it the smart way. Right. Like, I I did it. Because get what? When I came in that bitch, get what they said? He ain't going to be in there four years. But I lasted 10. Mm. Right, right, right. Huh? Decade mm-hmm. in, I man. see. At the end of the day, I told you I watch and see and I learn. Bitch, I see. No, I ain't going to speak on when I until I have to, until I want to. Yeah. You feel me? All right, come on. So you're a free agent now. What's the, what's, what's the next move, man? Yeah, I'm chilling. You chilling? I'm, I'm chilling. I'm going to get a call. Right. Like, film don't lie, bro. I'm going to get a call. But I had surgery at the end of the year. Oh, okay. On my ankle. You doing some recovery? I had, yeah, I had, um, I'm probably like a month and a half out now. I had a couple bone spurs in my ankle. You feel me? But. So you just like, fuck it, man. Let me just go to Dubai. Let me go to, you know nah, what I'm saying? And cool. Uh, I'm 10. I'm 10 years in, so I feel like if I sign now, the first thing they're going to do is call me say, come. Come do this. Right. I don't want to do that. I just had surgery. Right. You feel me? I don't want to do that right now. I'm 10 years in. You can get a young pup like that. Right, right, right. You got me last year, nine years ago. Right, I was right. straight nine years. Nine, nine, 10 you, years. 10 nine, years in a row, you got me. Now, now you tell the bus champ. 10 again. years in a row, you got me to come to everything. Me to camp, train to camp. Now you're on the bus right. right. champ shit now again. Now I ain't doing no work. I ain't coming to work out. Like, yeah, you don't want to come. When they say game next week, right? call me. That's what's up. I'll be ready. That's what's up. Now you transition into the the music world, man. What's what's that like? Uh, I see Real quick, before we get that, do you? Oh my bad. Go ahead. You, you spoke about being ten years in. Do you see? Yeah. Do you see an end game? Do you do you kind of see that end game? Because you know, right. at, at one point it's like, nah, I don't see that at all. I ain't think about that. Does it start running through your mind? I told myself twelve years from the time 12? I stepped in that motherfucker. I'm gonna do twelve and I'm out. Once mm-hmm. I get my twelve, I'm straight. Like I'm at ten. Mm-hmm. Two more years. Next year. After this year, next year, you can call me at the end of the year. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Line, right? Man, you can call me at the end of the year, man. Right, Three right. play and I. Yeah. Right. Like, come on, bro. Let me right. real. That's what's up. Um, do you have a preference of his, like where you would like to play? No. Uh Super Bowl contender, anything like that? I want a Super Bowl contender for sure. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, that's most important. We're going to try to get a yeah. ring. You don't got a ring at every level but the NFL, but the NFL. at this point. You got one in high school. Would you be opposed going back to St. Louis? College. I'm not St. Louis. My bad. Hell no. Nah. Uh, really? Uh, there ain't no team in St. Louis. My bad. New Man, whatever print. Yeah. Whatever presents itself. Championship team. Mm-hmm. I'll be the. Yeah, I think New Orleans got a chance to compete this year. Yeah, they got a lot of people. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. They, they did. They work all season. So what's the transition into the music world, man? Uh, so you got the music. In, but I've been trying to get this video. You ain't send me the video, bro. Damn. I ain't trying to put it out there yet, bro. Uh, okay, okay. No, but I yeah, feel you. I feel you better putting the pressure on me. Yeah, <laughs> he going to tell me every other day, let me get the video. I'm yeah, still yeah. trying to stall it. <laughs> you curving nah, me, cuz. Like, I'm trying to... The boys, they in the group chat. Hey, man, where the video at, bro? Y'all want to see it real quick? Yeah, you want to see the video. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we just want to check it out. I ain't going to put it out on the streets, man. Or- nah, but music, nah, I'm just trying to tell my story, my way. Right. Like, who you I- like Who you like musically? Like, what made, who you grew up listening to, favorite artist? I grew up listening to everybody, you know. But I- Not everybody. Who your favorite artist? Like, when you get, when you need to zone out, when you about to play in, play, play. In, That's hard, because I got a couple. I'm going to listen to that little, oh, in New Orleans. Yeah, you about to play. But I'm going to listen to some of everything. I'm going to listen to, like, Lil Baby. You okay. feel me? Uh, me, honeycomb, brazy, you feel me? No cap, like. I fucks with no cap heavy. I just be in that shit. Right. You feel <laughs> hey, partner, where my phone at? Oh my. Yeah, we gonna be able to see it like that right now. We'll take yeah, we, 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 we it. Yeah, I'm gonna get to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I don't want to, but I'm gonna get to y'all. 
That's what's up, man. We appreciate you for sliding through. I'm trying to handle man. some business shit on that shit. You know, paperwork and shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, ain't no rush, man. You know, I just got to give you a hard time, man. We appreciate you for coming through and hanging out with us at the Kush House, dog. Uh, no it's problem. It's been a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Spread the word, man. Let them boys know where, you know what I'm saying, where it's at. We hanging out, kicking some hey, shit. Hey, man, we at Kush House, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you want to, you can pull up on me at the bit. Talk that shit. On Friday, goddamn, we'll kick back and vibe. You know what I'm saying? Right, the right yeah. way. We do a little different over here at the roll up, man. You know what I'm saying? We trying to, uh, uh, like, I've been covering this, man. Just give you a backdrop, bro. I, I started this shit because I wanted to cover sports the way I wanted to cover sports, man. I started okay. going to fucking camps yeah. on my own, just pulling up, you know, doing my own shit, making my own relationships, yeah. introducing myself to the writers. That's what's got up. a Twitter account, start kicking my shit, talking my shit the way I, the way we talk. Right. Uh, and then, you know, you see the coach on the wall, bro. I like you know it, I saying? like we're gonna, it. We're going to talk ball. We're going to do shit the way we want to do it. And the Roll Up Network is about, you know what I'm saying, building what we do around yourself, like what we like what you like to do and shit. That's what's up. Being yourself. Like you say, bro. You know Being what I'm saying? Being comfortable, though. You, you, you huh? is you. Being comfortable. Being, Being comfortable, comfortable. Bro, that's you all I like about You see these, not to say nothing bad, but you see people around here, what they doing, because right. they not comfortable. Mm-hmm. You trying to live this way, that way. Right. I got to be comfortable, man. Hey, what did it be called? <laughs> uh, Kush House Roll Up Network, <laughs> I told man. y'all, check that bitch out, man. Don't forget. Yeah, all that shit, man. If all is. that shit, man. Hey, the monk in the building, man. I had to get a, two monk goats in the building at the same time. Legendary shit, my boy. For sure, bro. Appreciate I appreciate it. you.